and I against the world. For I see you as a leader now, worthy of my follow. Today we'll share the sunset, live to fight one more tomorrow. Once is two, now two is one. Our mateship shining like the sun. Let the war of life begin, for now together we can win. I was just this shy little boy that wore glasses from the time he was five and felt insignificant and not because of the way people tried to make me feel, it was just how I felt. But uh, when I was around horses, I felt like somebody. They looked at me as though I was important. They looked at me the way people look at me now after 30, 30 years of trying to, to prove myself. And now people look at me the way my horses always did. And so for many years, they gave to me the things that I needed, the, the honesty, the humility, the belief. Now I give back to them worldwide. I used to want to be in a traditional horse world. I, I, I'd see other people do what's called camp drafts in Australia, which is like a working cow horse event in America and Canada. But I said to the, to the horses, all I want is your very best from you and I'll give that to you to get that in return. And now I look at those people that grew up in the traditional world and they're kind of put in a box. And I've never said to my horses, be in that box. I've said, oh, all I want is your best. You tell me what you're great at and I will let you shine to the world. I say to every horse that I work with, I want you to be your best. And I put them in situations where they can believe in humans because in the beginning it's totally, you know, it's totally foreign for them to give to, to anything that looks like a predator, to give their, their physical body over to us through rain cues and leg cues. I mean, you push on a horse, he pushes back. You pull on him, he pulls back. When we teach him to give to our language, he learns to give to that. And, and what I love, what people don't realise is the difficult horses, the ones that people have trouble with, they're the ones that have got the most to offer. When they finally say yes, it is the most powerful yes. The two best horses I have, a lot of trainers wouldn't have wanted. You know, I'd love a thousand of them. Their hearts are as big as the moon. Bride used to be the sort of horse that would get frightened in these arenas and she'd say, Dad, I'm lost. I need you. When I get worried, it becomes hard. And I say, let me give you a reason to trust me. First, show everyone your extreme energy. You know, we work very hard for that half an hour spot that we're going to have tonight. Um, but it, I know that when people come up to me and they say, you've changed the way I look at horses, and even more now, you've changed the way I look at people. Oh, oh, stop, go that way, go that way. Go the other way, go that way, go that way. Go back the other way, go back. Good, now jump up at the end of the spot. As I become more famous, people come up to me shaking and, and crying, can't believe that they're meeting me for the very first time because I build a reputation. A horse says to me, I don't care what you did yesterday. I don't care what you did 10 years ago. I will treat you in this moment as you treat me. Horses are looking for a leader and they'll soon tell you if you have the qualities or not. A skilled and daring riding that would leave your features pale. So the thing that I always leave the crowd with is when I take four horses and one man and I put them together in one, complete showing of trust and mutual respect and caring. And I say that, that throughout my show, I have shown you complete control over mental, emotional and physical. And that's when I lay one of my beautiful horses down. I side pass my other three over and four horses take the space of the one where only one can stand. And they just prove to everybody and, and to me, and when I stand on their back and crack their whips, that we believe in each other so much that, that we can take the world on together.